It's back to Critter Overwatch duties this week with some giant 9 mil lead pills, along with a few that go boom. The contrast between backyard table for one pest control and chasing fluffy tails in the woods on e-bikes is quite the leap, but man was it great to get out in the woods with my buddy Jay. This place is amazing. It's a true hunter's paradise for duck, turkey, small game, and deer, which I'll be back for a rifle season in a tree stand actually pretty much in the same spot as I'm tagging this fox squirrel right here. The short break in the woods comes with backyard consequences for me, as the lack of critter overwatch duties can lead to damage around the house. So today, we're going to play catch up and erase some chippers with a ridiculously oversized 9mm pellet and one that goes boom. Which one is the best? Well, that's up for you all to let me know down in the comments. So let's jump on the old e-bike here and get back to the table for one. If you're new to the channel, I have an infestation of critters, which have caused thousands of dollars in damage to my house and property. I'm in an urban environment though, so for safety reasons, I can't be shooting them up in the trees or off my roof. So I have what we call the table for one. And what does this give us? A quick, safe, and humane dispatching of these roof chewers. The weather really started to get hot again, and with one last little heat wave before the fall sets in, boy, did the chippers react to it. Uh, they just been out in full force. So I grabbed the 25 cal L2 with a full mag of exploding pellets, but something tells me I'm only gonna need one. Well, my assumptions were correct. A 25 cal pellet is perfectly capable of taking even a hog at shorter ranges, but one packed with explosive putty on a critter the size of a hog's foot, well, you get that. An incredibly humane dispatch of summer's target numero uno, the chipmunk. The only real issue is the noise with these things. But at this point, uh, the neighbors just think I'm a big 4th of July guy. Uh, to keep the s snowflakes, yeah, I got a few of them around this neighborhood. Uh, off my case, uh, I've been known to light a few uh, roaming candles with my kids in the front yard right in the middle of winter. Man, that last shot was so loud. Those pellets, man, when they hit, it's just, I can't even explain it. It's like an M80 going off. So I decided to snag the 9 mil for this one. Now, while the 9 mil, for now at least, uh, lacks the boom putty, boy, does it make up for it in mass. Man, the last thing this thing saw was death. Whew, that 9 mil just liquefies these chippers. Big shout out to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Are you thinking of upgrading your wallet game? Well, now's the perfect time. Grab one of these sleek wallets using my link and code in the description and pinned comment, and you might just ride off with a new custom Hennyway Ford Bronco as part of their summer giveaway. Entry's free, but for every dollar you spend, before September 30th, you'll get a bonus shot at winning a souped-up Hennessy Ford Bronco or 75 k in cash if custom Broncos aren't your jam. So I've been rocking the Ridge Wallet for years. It fits up to 12 cards and your bills within the included money strap or uh, money clip, all while staying super slim for that front pocket. You can save up to 30% if you bundle it with one of these cool key cases that they have, like this limited edition Hennessy pair here. They hold up to six keys really nice and clean, uh, but without all that annoying jingle. So go to www.ridge.com forward slash Eggunleshy and use code Ed Gunleshi for 10% off and 10 bonus entries before September 30th for that incredible Bronco or the cash. Big thanks to the Ridge for sponsoring the today's video. Now let's dive right back in. The next day was pretty much the same weather wise. So that means one thing, my trigger finger was going to be busy. 
I realized I was a little short on air, so I grabbed the PZ off the table there. This thing is a must-have for your backpack. It fills a gun like two to three times before needing to be filled itself. Highly recommend. This guy was pretty small. Look at the size difference between its head and the pellet right there. Oh, man. So, even though that was a tick high, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's over. But, uh... Hey, when in doubt, you guys know me. Send a second one just in case. This angle above really tells the story, though. Oh, that chipper's got as much left in between the ears as about 90% of the FUDs in Washington. Number four came in right as shooting light was almost over, so this footage is a little dark. But I grabbed the 762 for this one, and man, it's so crazy to think that a 762 pellet is small. But uh, as you can see, the dirty 30, man, that thing doesn't play around either. From these initial angles, it doesn't look like crazy amount of damage. Obviously, a huge energy dump. But this bird's eye view, this thing tells a whole different story. Back to the 9 mil for some chipper gymnastics. Let me know what score you'd give this guy here. That's a 9-1 for me. Whole lot of moves up in the air, but didn't quite stick that landing. I get a lot of questions about what I do with the bodies. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not grabbing a fork with this guy. The neighbor's cat, though, well, she's pretty fat these days. This guy, just like the others, man, he took it pretty hard. And sometimes it looks like, uh, especially with the nine mil, like I stuck some roast beef on the top of the body. I mean, that initial expansion of the Hades pellet is just absolutely devastating. Watch this. Whoa. Ugh, it's that shit. That angle, man, that top angle is gnarly. One last time for good measure. Yeah, it's dead. Well, you don't believe me? Well, here's an angle for the folks crying about it in the comments saying that it suffered. This one's actually pretty interesting. So I had painted some pellets the old school way with a thick white nail polish. So it's slightly heavier, which uh, you'll see the net result of here. It's just a little bit lower. Now, at 30 yards, that's the result. Didn't matter, right? But at 50, that probably would have been a miss. So pay attention if you're painting pellets. This is the last one with the 9 mil, and then we're gonna have one more with the Tannerite pellet. You know, this 9 is uh, definitely more devastating uh, as that massive pellet, man. It just expands on impact, and then it just drives whatever's left of this thing right out the exit. Watch this thing. This is nuts. All right, so it was brute force with the nine mil, but here comes one for the exploding pellets fans, and these things are just incredibly violent themselves. 
And by the way, if you made it this far in the video, you're cool enough to own my personal gun. That one that you just saw right there is for sale on the Egg Gun West uh, site under the used air gun section. So go check it out if you're interested. Man, it's a hard choice between the 9 mil and the 25. For me personally, I think the solution is 7.62 and 9 mil pellets should both come with boom juice in them. I think that's the only fair thing we can do. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should that gun west sell exploding pellets in larger calibers? I think we need to put a little pressure on them. If you enjoyed that clip, you should click this thumbnail to see the full video.